Hi guys, welcome back to We in the Word, another series in the Bible verse. Today, I read chapter 12 and chapter 13, and I find interesting is in chapter 13, starting in verse 12. It says, David was afraid of God that day and asked, How can I even bring the ark of God to me? He did not take the ark to be with him in the city of David. Instead, he took it inside of the house of Odeam the Gittite. So, what I find interesting here is that David was afraid because Uzzah had had died touching the ark of the Lord, trying to help it so it doesn't fall. So, he died. So, David was afraid. And that just, that just proves to us of we always look at David as a mighty warrior and a mighty strong faith in the Lord because he, 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 that's what David was. But also, David was afraid of God because David knew if God wanted to get rid of him, it was a blink of an eye to get rid of, to get rid of David. So David was afraid of that and he, everybody around him witnessed, they witnessed this. They went, they witnessed this as a dying, just instantly death. By touching the Ark of the Covenant. So at that, it, David wasn't only afraid, it was everybody else was afraid. You know, when you see something that just dies instantly, you get kind of nervous and scared, just as any human would be. And so that's why he's asking God, how can I bring the Ark to me? And so that kind of makes sense to me, is that we know God is the one who allows us to breathe every day, and he is the one who allows us to take, he could easily take it away. So, God hasn't changed from that time to now. And so what I find really interesting of, of this is he says, how could I bring him to me? And the only way we can bring God closer to us is accepting him as your Lord and Savior, and grow closer to him daily as we read the word and not be afraid and just pour our love on God as much as we can and just don't be afraid to share the word because God is will always be with us. So remember that. I pray that we have a good day, blessed day. Be strong in the Lord today. Love you guys and God bless.